Hey there, Friday Night Movie fans. We have a very special episode for you today. Becky, did you have a lot of fun making this episode? I had so much fun that I have my post-camp exhausted hoarse voice on display for you today. Exactly. Becky's almost gone full buttery voice because Becky, Lily, and I had the opportunity to go back to where it all started, where our parents met, Camp Tel Yehuda, the Young Judea Camp in Barryville, New York. And we had the amazing opportunity to do our show live with an audience of kids from the Yachad group. They were fantastic. They were so much fun, so smart, so many great opinions. And uh, just a huge thank you to them and to the camp and to David Weinstein who set it up for us. We are thrilled to bring you this episode with all of these amazing, young, very funny, very smart people. Um, Beck, any any other further thoughts before we go? It was a pure joy to record with this group. I, I really hope everyone listening today enjoys, enjoys this episode as much as we did recording it. Um, yeah, and it, it feels pretty good to be back in this uh, post-camp, so tired, I can't see straight. <laughs> and this like, is after two days. These people, other people are doing this for a whole summer. Right, I thought I w- this would be like a little vacation from my kids. I am at least twice as exhausted. Yeah. Um, so thank you again, Camp Tell Yehuda, and the amazing, amazing campers of Yahad for helping us put together an epic episode of the Friday Night Movie podcast. And to all our listeners, the Friday Night Movie family, hope you enjoy. Dancing dancing is a big part of people who listen to the theme song. When we do the show live, we love to play the theme song live. So, what's your name, sir? Eitan? Eitan? I want Eitan on the show. If anything, just to come and dance on the show. Here we are, and welcome to another episode of the Friday Night Movie Podcast. We are here on location. Becky, where are we? We are at Camp Tell Yehuda in Barryville, New York. Where I think the most important thing the listeners need to know about Camp Tell Yehuda is that the Friday Night Movie podcast would not exist because it was not for our parents making out under the apple trees oh, I'm so in happy we 1974, that up. which is so gross. They always talk about and it when we're here. To, they always like, are the apple trees still there? It's where we, like, yeah, we know you made out there. It's wonderful. Thing. But if it wasn't for that camp and them getting together, we wouldn't have this show. So. So you're welcome. <laughs> and Lily, Lily, um, what is it like? This is your first time back here it's in probably amazing. 25 years. It's, you asked me a question as we were driving up. You said, are you getting that like pop in your heart before you come into camp? I haven't been here in probably 20 years, maybe, but it feels like yesterday. And Do you as, get that pop? Is that what like, you're, as yeah, you're getting close? It's that. like that, like, oh, my, we're getting close. We're yeah. here. Oh, my God. And it, I, I was like, dude, I've had that for like two miles back. <laughs> I, it's pretty surreal to be here, and everything is different, and everything is the same, yeah. which is I, just right. I mean, I think I it think was it's still kind of the same because the '90s are back, and yeah. some of the outfits like, are like, the same. Look, yeah, like everyone's dressed. Dress. The, I think right. the moment that summed up Jewish summer camp for me last night was last night we got to see the end of Maccabia, which is the you probably color shouldn't war. call it color color war anywhere. That sounds bad, but it's where the camps divide into teams. There's all sorts of competition. And the and winners were announced. Congratulations to the any green team people here. Congratulations. Are green you? Team. Where are you all from? The green team. Midwest. The Midwest. Midwest. Oh, we love. When the, I was at camp, Midwest always won. So this feels very consistent. Very yeah. plucky, plucky yeah. group of people. So they won, and their winning was announced in a fire sign, which was amazing, and everyone's cheering. And then they got in the announcements to tell people what to do and they were saying congratulations green team now will all the kids go to the Chadarochel for the dining hall for their meds and who would like to volunteer for Torah on Saturday (laughs) and to me that like sums up Jewish summer camp in the best way it was so much fun Um, and uh, we're we're very excited here we're with the Yachad group the Yachad group very excited the who are sophomores in high school correct um, very cool. They've already, yeah, so Yachad Group, and they are audience, and they're going to jump into the show with us. Um, Lily, when you were 15, did you have strong opinions when you were at Camp Tel Yehuda? Probably. Yeah? yeah I think you I'm were sure. most known for your very strong, very strong opinions. opinions. Yeah. yeah. Lily had strong 
Lily, Lily, I, I'm not sure Lily would have come to this activity. I probably would have. <laughs> um, I had, a, I, yeah, I loved, it wasn't called Yachad when I was here. It was um, Sololim. Okay, right. Uh, but it was great, yeah, the best time. So, all right, so on Friday Night Movie, we talk about our love of movies and pop culture when we have a live audience. We play our signature Friday Night Movie games. We have a few different ones. We'll just try one out for you, um, and then we'll explain the others as we go. Does that work? Because we don't want to, right? Ah, yeah, we got some good. thumbs up from, what's your name, ma'am? Yeah. I'm Maya. 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 Maya's been, love it. Uh, I hope you're coming up. Awesome, okay. Um, and our, um, okay, so the signature game of the Friday Night Movie podcast is called Buy, Rent, Meh. Ooh, good timing. That's good timing. Good timing on that. I meh, whatever that is that just fell. <laughs> it's, it's the official rating system of Friday Night Movie. So the highest order is the buy. Because back in the 80s and 90s, we used to go to mo video stores. Do you ever heard of those? Blockbuster? There's a you Netflix documentary yeah. about it. Okay. okay. And you'd buy the videos that you liked. You'd rent the ones that you were on the fence about. And meh is sort of, you could, it's the, it can be the lowest, it could just be one you don't know a lot about, but like all good camp things, there's no loser, right? But meh is often the lowest. And so what we'd like to do is we like to put each other in an impossible situation, and I'm gonna um, put in front of my sisters uh, right now three things, three pop culture or maybe some camp items, and they are going to have to decide which one is going to be bought, which one is gonna be rented, and which one will get the ever elusive meh. You all understand this? I see a lot of nods. You're so much better than when my parents are on this show. It's amazing. Okay. All right. So, Lily and Becky, uh, anyone like Star Wars here? Anyone watch Star Wars? Okay. Wow, so you want, all right. Okay. So we're going to keep it pretty simple because my sisters only understand a little bit of Star Wars. I, I, that's, that's unfair. That is unfair. That's unfair. We it's understand absolutely fair. somewhat <laughs> about Star Don't Wars. Know anything okay. about Star Wars. But you, what I do know you both love is you love the cute things, correct? All right. I so, like an Ewok. Okay, so buy rent meh. Mm -hmm. You have in front of you Baby Yoda. Aww. Okay, Aww. also known as Grogu. You guys know Baby Yoda? All Everyone right. know Grogu? Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. Ewoks. Mm. You remember them from Return of the Jedi? Uh, they haven't really brought them back yet. Um, Who knows? In okay, Ewoks? Who's familiar with Ewoks? All right, okay, okay. We're familiar with Ewoks. Okay, and then this is maybe a deep cut, the Porgs. Did anybody see the Porgs in The Last that Jedi? Kid, the, that little, the little yeah, chicken yeah, things okay, that yeah, Chewbacca eats? Little. Okay. All right, and actually, we're going to have some audience participation here because as, as they a answer, I'm going to turn to you and ask for, like, show of hands on who agrees. So, Lily and Becky, you've, I've now stalled for you. You must give me your buy, rent, meh of Baby Yoda, Ewoks, and Porgs. It's super easy. Okay. I'm going to buy an Ewok, obviously, because they're cute, oh. but they're also, like, super fierce. And you can fight okay. back. I'm going to rent a Grogu because he's so cute, but... Um, I don't know. I don't like macaroons, and he really likes macaroons, so <laughs> we can't share dessert. So, no. I'm going to just rent him, and then I'm going to meh the, like, fluffy, does, like, the little chicken chickens? nuggets that <laughs> Chewbacca eats. <laughs> okay. No. Uh, show of hands, who is in the same place as Lily on this? Oh, oh, oh a only, people only, only, only a couple of people buying oh, Ewoks. Right. A couple of people buying Ewoks. That's Real good. All right. To the 80s. It's it's four people for our audience <laughs> at home. Yeah. Becky, go I ahead. I am one hundred percent buying Grogu. I don't even. It's not a question for me. He's a buy. He's so he's so delicious and yet so powerful. I mean, there's so much I want to learn about him. It feels just like the beginning of the relationship I want to have with Grogu. I'm gonna rent the. Ewoks for similar reasons to Lily, but I'm gonna med the porks because which one are they in? They're in The Last Jedi. Which yeah, and that's yeah. We're not gonna get into details, but let's just say We're not gonna derail the show. We're not here. gonna derail the show with another therapy session on why The Last Jedi is very disturbing to us, but but they're in that movie, so they're automatically a meh for me. All right, who's closer to Becky's opinion? Oh, wow. Uh, oh, so we have... Okay, couple All right, not th more. some folks. Are there okay, folks so who, who... who's here? Who are does someone dying? totally disagree, or are there just people who don't have an oh, opinion? Yeah, have oh, gentleman in the back. What's your name, back? sir? Come on up. What, what's your name? Uh, Louis. Louis? All right, Louis is going to be our first guest on the podcast. Louis, have a seat. Everyone, a round of applause for Louis. <laughs> Come here, Louis. Go close, go close. Gotta get you close to that yeah, microphone. Yeah, right. All right, Louis, first tell us a little bit about yourself. Louis, where are you from? 
I'm from New Jersey, Highland Park, you know, around Millsex. Highland Park, awesome. All right, near uh, Rutgers University, yeah, correct? Yeah, near Rutgers. Awesome, great. Our mom went there for one year. Um, uh, all right. She graduated college. She just changed Wait, thanks, schools. Thank you for that point of information, Chai. <laughs> I like it's to. Very useful. Okay, so you disagreed with my sister's rankings. What would your rankings be by rent meh, the Ewoks, the Porgs, and Baby Yoda? Well, and get close, close, close right. to my microphone. I'd probably just. Oops. Yeah. I don't know. I'd probably just completely meh uh, Baby Yoda or whatever you call Ooh, it. Oh, hot take. I love a hot take. Yeah, Why do you meh Baby Yoda? I, like I don't it. like him, all right? I, I, I think it's overrated. <laughs> All right, but in all honesty, I've seen too much of it, so yeah, that's kind of why I'm not really a big fan of it. For me, I'd probably rent a Porg and buy an Ewok, because Ewoks are um, very, very easy to have homeland defenses of. <laughs> you can all right. make an entire Ewok army and then send them all to get rid of any burglars. Th there you go. I, I do think the Ewoks are kind of like the Maccabees of Star Wars. Everyone, round of applause for Louis. Thank you. Thank you. All right. And also, also um, I just like to say... I still agree with the new Star Wars movies being worse than every other movie. I'm okay. just going to say that. I'm Thank not you for the extra hot take. We love hot takes. All right. Who would like to be our next guest? We're not going to talk about Star Wars, though, next. Um, oh, Her first time young lady in the back. back. Oh, um, we got to give Louie a shirt or a hat, by the way. Uh, young lady, uh, what's your name? Well, we'll give, we can do that after. We'll do okay, that. you're right. Well, no, I don't know the touch. I just want to stop. Well, and what's your name? Alyssa. Alyssa, have a seat. All right, round of applause for Alyssa, everyone. Uh, uh, Alyssa, where are you from? I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. Atlanta, Georgia. What a great town. My best friend and his whole family live there. Oh, did, you go to C, did you go to CJ the camp in North Carolina I before you came did. here? I did. All right. <laughs> the big southern, southern, southern representation. So this is your first summer at camp? Um, at TY, yeah. Okay, your first summer at TY. Awesome. Okay. Should we ask a camp-related question to start? Sure. Okay, all right. Um, wait, actually, hold on a second. Camp question. Wait, do you, do you, are you a sports person? Mm, no. Okay, then that's gonna make this extra fun because okay. we're gonna ask you about sports at camp. Does that sound good? Yeah, that all right. great. Okay. And remember, give us your opinion and why. Okay, we're gonna give you three sports to buy rent man, okay? Basketball, Frisbee, and Gaga. And your reason, you, may, you could have never played any of these, but you just give us your reason why. Okay, I would buy basketball because I played in middle school. Nice, all right. Um, I would rent Gaga because it's just, you know, the best. And then, eh, Frisbee. Eh, Frisbee. Okay. <laughs> that's like awesome. worse than a meh, it's an eh. Eh, Ooh, that's she, a she dropped the M. All right, do you have a favorite TV show? Um... No. Okay. Okay. That's cool. <laughs> it's no, a good right. talk. That's <laughs> that's good. All right, everyone. Th everyone, round of applause for Alyssa. <laughs> Alyssa, you are going home with one of our very nice Friday Night Movie hats. Oh my God, I've always wanted that. Yay! Hey, that's awesome. Since you met us. Okay. Do we have another volunteer? Oh, oh. just gentlemen's very fast. But I haven't forgot about you, Aton. Come on up. What, uh, what is your name, sir? Yoel. Yoel. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Uh, Yoel, where are you from? Miami, Florida. Miami, Florida. Okay, Yoel is from Miami, Florida. Um, our mom also lived there. <laughs> Fun facts about our mom. Um, okay, we're going to talk movies and TV. Um, our, I don't remember. What, what did Yoel say he liked, Beck? Do you remember? Oh, yeah. that's a stretch. I didn't I say don't. anything. You didn't say anything. Oh, boy. Okay. All right. So can I just throw you anything, or is there a topic you want to talk about today? And you got to get close to that microphone. Throw me anything. Cause throw, throw you uh, anything? Yeah, I can't think of anything. All right. All right. Anyone here watching Stranger Things? I watched it. You watch yeah. Stranger Things? All right. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we're going to play uh, a slightly different game. Okay. Mm -hmm. This... We're gonna do, let's do Stranger Things a couple of times. Does that work for people? So get your Stranger Things minds moving, okay? Because we're gonna do a few different games here. This one is called The Comparathon, okay? And Lily and Becky are gonna editorialize on your decisions, so no pressure, okay? okay? Um, I'm gonna name two characters. You're gonna tell me which one you like more. Okay. And we're gonna do a little marathon of comparison. Okay. So if I give you Dustin, okay, with the teeth, yeah, yeah, and Mike, yeah. who do you pick? Dustin. Why Dustin? 
He's a funnier character. I like him better. Lily and Becky? Fully agree. agree. Okay, Fully Lily agree. and Becky yeah. agree. Okay. Correct. All right. And he's like super great in season four. And, and I feel like in this season or, and last season, he's really one of the most helpful. Yeah, like yeah. Like, Mike yeah. has done almost nothing <laughs> in a while. So. Yeah. Okay, so now Dustin goes to the next round. Dustin or Lucas? Still Dustin. All right, All Dustin, right. Dustin. Dustin's your winning yeah. kid. All right. Makes sense. Okay, Dustin and... Do you, did you remember back in the first season? Yeah. Remember Barb? Who remembers oh, yeah. Barb? Yeah. Barb. A lot of booze. Ooh, lot of no booze. Just, oh, this no is not a justice for Barb, Barb crowd. Oh, wow. All right, no Dustin or Barb? Barb Still Dustin. Okay, yeah. all right, okay. It's one of my favorite. All right, now how about Dustin up against um, the older sister, Nancy? Um, what, oh, the crowd, the crowd has an opinion here. Probably Dustin. He was, yeah, one of the main characters in the next last season. Okay, yeah. all right, cool. Okay, so Dustin, I agree. I think Nancy is... It's time to write Nancy off the show. Off. Nancy yeah. needs to go to college. Yeah. <laughs> Not be on the show anymore. All right, now, Dustin or Hopper? Definitely Hopper, yeah. Ooh, Hopper. Hopper. Ooh, Hopper. Ooh, you're, right? you have an angry crowd Ooh, now. This is good. I love it. I'm I love that one guy. I love the hot takes. He had, he had the in, most interesting part in the last season. Okay. Okay. All right. Hopper or his adopted daughter, Eleven? Eleven. Eleven. Yeah, it's got to be eleven. Okay. All right. And then finally, eleven or the man with the greatest hair on television, Steve. Eleven. Oh. Eleven. Oh, eleven. Yeah. Okay. Right. Um, why eleven? Um, she's the coolest character, and uh, she plays like the most important roles. It basically the whole show revolves oh. around her. All right. Yeah. Everyone, congratulations Solid to Yoel. Thank you, <laughs> Yoel. Got a shirt for you, a Friday Night Movie shirt for you, Yoel. Okay, okay, you're, Maya, um, Maya your, your arm looks like it's gonna shoot out of your shoulders, so you've gotta come on down. Got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're, we're, who, who thinks Maya's ready for a, like a very difficult game here? Right? Yeah. Are so, you, you're I'm a gamer, so, Maya? I'm so ready. But you I'm, get your pick of a hat or a shirt. Which one are you gonna want at the end of this? Is the shirt like, is it oversized? You can have it whatever can size be. you want. I would love a shirt. Oversized, it's oversized or undersized? Oversized. Okay, all right, cool. All right, you can get, we have, we have all of the sizes right now because you came so early. Awesome. Okay, so this game, this is the, probably the hardest game because you're gonna have to think on your toes. I'm so excited, okay. It's called Pitch Imperfect. You've heard of the Pitch Perfect movies? I love that movie. The Pitch Perfect saga, as I like to call it. Yes. Okay, this doesn't have to do with them, but it's a play on the name. You have seen the first half of Stranger Things. I've, okay, I'm going to tell you a little secret. What? So, I never actually I've watched never seen Stranger the, I've Things. I've never seen the show, but I great. am on TikTok better. big time, so okay. I know, like, everything. Okay, that's amazing. This is even can better. I ask why you haven't seen the show? Well... I'm a little bit of a, I'm a little scaredy cat, I'm a little scaredy cat, and I start, I watched the first, like I watched the, I watched the first season, and I was like, never again, so I don't really watch it, but I know everything that happens, I know in, the and characters, you're into it. I'm very into it. That's like me when I was in the 80s, I used to go to the movie stores and read the back of the horror movie boxes, but I was too afraid to rent them, and I then I'd that. have nightmares. I look them up on Wikipedia. Yeah. I read the summaries. The or yeah, yeah. Lily watches all the horror movies. I tell I will, you about that. I, I call Lily up and yeah. say, Lily, tell me everything that happened in Saw 4. Oh my God. And she'll walk My fave. Room. Okay. You like Saw? I don't watch Saw. Okay. But I know what happens. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's <laughs> amazing. You two should definitely chill after this. Okay. So, Stranger Things, season four, part two. Even if you don't know what happened in season one, what is your pitch, however imperfect it might be? for what should happen, not a prediction, but what should happen in part two of season four. Oh my God, I'm so ready. Okay, so first of all, I have very strong opinions about this. I really, I'm praying that they don't kill Eddie because I love him so much. He's this new character that everybody loves? He's this new character, he's new. Probably not. You haven't seen the show. I know what happens though, TikTok. That's amazing. TikTok. You know TikTok one of the best characters. Of course, of course, of course. Very accurate. Okay, so I honestly, I hope Nancy bites it. I do not like her. Agreed. Anyone else want to see Nancy's character, I'm not going to promote death, but just not on the show anymore? Yes. Yeah. I think they really mispermed her hair too. I could not They dress her like she's they dress her my age. It's really <laughs> Yeah. Oh. oh, go ahead. She's also like 20 and like hanging out with like these like 
14 year olds. I don't, <laughs> I'm not like not these 40 year olds. Not like these 40 year olds hanging out with 15 year olds. I feel like Maya has Absolutely achieved different. every level of achievement on this show because she has jammed with us on Pitch and Perfect. Absolutely. We're not yet, you're going to. And Almost. she has trolled us. A round of applause for Maya. Thank All right, you. Maya. Thank you. Thank We've you. given wow. you some time on your pitch. Okay. What's your pitch for part two? Other than not killing De um, Eddie, Eddie and not killing Nancy. Nancy. So mainly, first of all, there's a there's another camper here, Sam Nagorski, and he threatened to spoil it for me because Volume Two came out. That's today. That's the dude with the red hair. The dude with the red hair. Yeah, 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 yeah. I we, love him. We hung out with Sam. Came out today. He threatened to spoil it for me. I don't care. But okay. um, let me think. So I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I do not really know the plot, but I know the characters. <laughs> I hope. Eleven gets to use her powers again. I hope, because I, she lost her powers, I think. Yeah, 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 but you clearly don't need to watch this show. Truth, so. <laughs> truth, truth. To know um, what will happen. I hope she gets, because there was a really cool scene in like season two, I think. She like closed the gate. It was crazy. I hope we get another one of those cool scenes. I hope Angela bites it. Oh my God, I don't like her. Angela, Angela is this bully. Who's Angela? Oh, the bully. Oh, the if bully. you were on TikTok, wow, if you were on yeah. TikTok, We've you wouldn't know who Angela it. is. Oh my God. Yeah. Our, our dad's really into TikTok. He's the only one in our family. All right, everyone, a round of applause for Maya. You crushed it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oversized shirt for you. Oh, I'm assuming this is oversized. If it is not oversized enough, you come back come and back. I'll get I'll you a bigger shirt. We'll get you a bigger shirt. Wow. Okay, I've got to go to Idan. Uh, oh, it is the faux fish break. We so won't, peace our out. feelings will not be hurt. But you can if you have to go. Or you can stay and, and have fun with us. Have fun and win a shirt. Okay. All right, and we've got it. Maya's rocking her shirt. We have more. We have a ton of shirts and hats. Okay, so this young man, yeah, yeah, right? He was one of our. Early, but Lady in the Blue, we're coming to you next. Get ready. And you, get and you. Don't worry. We'll get to everybody. Do you want to do Stranger Things? You can't. Oh, no, then we'll no, do something no, else. No, 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 no. In fact, you can tell. You can. <laughs> you can tell us what you want to do. Absolutely. He likes Brooklyn Nine. -Nine. He likes Brooklyn Nine, -Nine. You like Brooklyn Nine, Nine? I do like Brooklyn Nine. -Nine. Bro anyone here watch Brooklyn Nine, -Nine? Oh, wow. Wow. Andy Samberg fans. It's Big great. Andy Samberg fans. Okay, this is great. We love this show, although I never finished watching it. Okay. Brooklyn Nine-Nine. We're going to... Oh, you're right there. Bugs. Oh, boy. Okay. All right. We're going to play a game called Cast Ellipsis Away. Okay? Cast Away. Um, and in Wait. this, okay, you're going to be a casting agent. Okay? okay. You're gonna cast a new police officer on Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> like that a police or an officer. What? A detective or an officer. Whichever you want. Okay. But it could be a detective, I'll right? Because we mostly focus on the detectives. Good nuances there. And you have to pick one of the sort of iconic staff members of Can't Tell Yehuda. Oh. And who would you do? And this is, by the way, when we do this game, it's out of love. So this isn't right. like, this isn't like a. Right, right. Naturally. It's not exactly a roasting situation. Naturally. Um, who would you pick? And put on the um, on put on the squad, um, and and sort of like what would their role be in the squad, uh -huh. right? Like if I were to bring David into the Brooklyn Nine Nine right. squad, I would have him come in as like a mentor okay. that sort of like had come in from another uh, another station that was like this very high achieving uh -huh. station, um, but used very unconventional Jewish summer camp techniques to um, uh, have an excellent poli poli community policing uh, program. And then David would bring his sort, of un, um, his sort of unconventional ways to the precinct, and there would be some conflict, but also but, some fun in the But then events. also Bobka would have a rival with Holtz. Yeah, dog. Dog. With Cheddar. With Cheddar. Cheddar, with Cheddar, Cheddar and, and Bobka Bobby. Bobka would be or, a dog. Cheddar yeah. is easily one of the best characters on the show. Right. <laughs> I do think Bobka could rival him. Yeah. At, so, at the precinct. So you start us, and we'll get okay. into it with you. All right. So there's a staff member here this year. Sorry, I'm having I'm, a little issue with this cord, but it is fixed. Sorry about my voice. I'm a caveat screw you. Um, but so uh, there's a staff member this year. He's on logistics, and his name is Petlock. Okay. Petlock. Okay. And I think Petlock would be a very good detective. Now, here's the thing. He looks very either French or Brazilian to me, so he'd be like an international... Uh, oh, detective. Like an okay, Interpol like agent. Like an Interpol like agent oh. that comes to the agency, right? But he's very secretive. Um, so you don't like, know what uh, his agenda Kind of like Adrian Pimento. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of sure. like that, like, no one really so knows much about him. We don't know his agenda. Not really, no. We don't even we know, know maybe he's... In the, he's... We know he's sent over um, internationally, and 
and then he's kind of working, and, and he's very suspicious sometimes, and, and sometimes he does things that, that people are kind of not so sure about, but, uh, and, then, and then I would kind of leave it up to the directors as to whether he screws over the, uh, okay. the um, so precinct. Okay, you're going to leave some agency or, to the showrunners. Or okay. if, he, if he's like the mega hero. Okay, yeah. I like it. And who would be his partner throughout? Would this be a um, Jake Peralta type team up? Uh, yes, so uh, his boss, uh, Raviv Lavone. Um, I think she would be Raviv, his partner. Is it Raviv here? No. Oh. She was. She was here. She was. Yes, she's, she's head logistics. Okay. Um, and she would be his partner in crime, except, well, so they both came over, and they're both very suspicious type thing. You know okay, what I'm saying? got it. And so you don't know maybe one very or both? Suspicious. This yeah. is a great episode of... Brooklyn Nine-Nine, you have set us up with. Thank you so much. Yes. Thank you. All right. Hat or shirt, Becky and Lily are going to help you out. Okay, wait. I promised the young human person with the blue sweatshirt. Yes? You're, you're pro this person coming up. Okay. You're just clapping for her. Thank you. All right. What is, what, what is, what is your name? Joelle. Joelle. Okay, you got to get right up about six inches from that microphone. Hi, Joelle. Hi. 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 Everyone say hi to Joelle. Hi, Joelle. Awesome. All right, Joelle, where are you from? Um, I'm from Queens, New York. And you go to Solomon Schechter? No, I went here, but this isn't my sweatshirt. Oh, okay. <laughs> we went to Solomon Schechter in Canada. Oh. Yeah, weird, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, Joelle, what are you into? What, like, shows and TV things are you into? Um, well, I watch Brooklyn and Anne. I watch Stranger Things. Okay. I love Gilmore Girls. You're the only one oh, that watches the Gilmore Girls, Girls of the three of us. <laughs> Sorry. That's Shy. Okay. And not you, Joel. None, none of the I women mean, in my family. Shy as an New adult. Girl. Not with his girl. children. <laughs> watched Gilmore Girls. I watched New Girl. New oh, Girl. New okay. Girl is pretty right. good. New Girl. I love Jake Johnson. Okay. All right. So maybe let's talk a little. We, Brooklyn Nine-Nine. There seem to be a lot of fans of Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Okay. Let's talk a little more Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Okay. We're going to do By Rent Man. Remember where we started this? Okay. okay. All right. Yeah. And Lily and Becky, I look forward to your insights here. Okay. Mm -hmm. By rent man of leadership authorities, okay, we have Holt. We have, what's Sarge's name? Terry Crews. Terry. Terry. His Terry. Oh, his Terry. name is Terry in the show? <laughs> That's funny. Okay, we have Terry, and then I feel like I'm missing one more. Who else is an authority figure in that, in that group? Well, they had... Um, well, doesn't what's... Amy get promoted at the end? And she, like, towards the, the and later season? And the guy season? that's the There's captain the when they're on the night shift, um, Ken Marino. Oh, okay, yeah, sure. You know the night shift captain? <laughs> Who's such an idiot. Yeah. Okay, yeah, all right. So, by rent, man, those three. Holt, Terry, and the night shift captain. Like, in, like, by my favorite? Yeah. yeah. Okay, by Terry, Brent Holt... And Met Ken Marino. Met Ken Marino. <laughs> okay, why do you like Terry the most? He's just the best. He's like a really, he, like there's this one episode where he's like building a um, princess house. I mean princess, like dollhouse yeah. for yes. his yes. little yes. girls. Like when he's in like the family, it's just so cute. It is funny to he's see a such very, a muscular exactly. dude. Exactly. He's a very doting father. It's a, yeah. it's a great example. Yeah, he's a really good father. Awesome. All right, everyone, round of applause for Joelle from... Can I have a hat? I didn't bring a hat to camp. Yeah, oh, didn't... See, we are helping yeah. keep you all safe by giving you hats. Um, Next okay. time we'll have to come with water bottles. This guy, okay, this guy's been waiting for a while. All right, well, come on up. We... Oh, we got time. We're good. Have a, have a seat, sir. I'm gonna grab the other wire. What? Center. What? What? Oh, there we go. We what, got it. Yeah, there's another Send wire there. I'll grab in a minute. Um, oh, what's your name? My name is Ophir. Ophir from Israel, I presume. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, are you? That's where you're from all the time. Yeah, I was born and raised in Israel, okay. and I came here for the first time. Oh, all right. Okay. Welcome to, to welcome to camp. Okay, Thank Ophir. You. Let's have some fun with Israel, because in Israel you maybe watch different shows than the folks here, or do you watch the same things? Uh, the things that I've heard, like so far, we've watching the, like I watch like the same things in oh, Israel, okay. but we've got like our shows. Okay, well. all right. What's a great Israeli show though that people should be watching? That's a really that's a this is a good opportunity to good get time a recommendation. For, for, for a little, yeah, for a wrap. Uh, well, I don't really watch Israeli shows. That much. Oh, okay. Well, then for, forget but, that. Uh, <laughs> oh, there's one that I like like the most. It, yeah. It's called the Parliament. The 
Parliament. Yeah, it's a comedy show, and it, it is like uh, it's a pretty pretty old show, but it is still running today. And so I, like, is it political? Is it make fun of the government people? Absolutely not. It oh. is about like. <laughs> It's called the Parliament. I don't. Why no. Would yeah. So it's a joke. It's like a group of friends of all people, like uh, that they. It's like uh, some sort of scenes in different places, and they're always together, they're doing fun, and they're like everyone comes with it, with his jokes and his stuff, and they're all like a bit of dumbs. Uh, so together, it's like the classical Israelis. So that, that's what the show is about. Okay, all right, very cool. Okay, so, but you know a lot of the stuff that we're talking about here. Uh, yeah, a bit. Okay, a bit. Oh, okay, well, or that's... you would focus on some Gal Gadot stuff, you know? No. So, I mean, oh, yeah, wait. It's a common ground. Gal Gadot? Gal Gadot? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay, I'm going to fix your wire, though, because this one, I think, has to go in the garbage. I love Gal Gadot. <laughs> so here's the thing. Gal Gadot is a fin everyone here. Gal Gadot, Wonder Woman. Yeah, okay. we're all, yeah, we all love that. So, but Gal Gadot is a woman, a person of many talents, correct? Yeah. And recently, she has been really big on Goodles. Have you guys heard of Goodles? She has her own brand of mac and cheese that's sold at Target. I didn't know yeah, that. People yeah, people are people no, are losing right, their minds in the audience. Mac and cheese, like the food? Yeah, yeah, mac and cheese. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh my god. Yeah, and, and, and there's a new vegan recipe coming out, I believe. Um, and it's apparently got more protein than regular. We don't have a sponsor for the show, but I'm making a commercial for this. So you can use her. Okay. Yes. So we have, we'll ask her if she wants to sponsor yeah. this show. So I can ask her if you want to. You do, do all Israelis yeah. know God We all know her. Okay. That's, <laughs> that's awesome. Okay. So Gal Gadot is making this mac and cheese company. Okay. And you have to pitch person at camp, a staff member at camp, to be in the, like the new shape of the mac and cheese. You know how like they have like Star Wars mac and cheese like and whatever. In the, like, the noodles will be the shaped, will be shaped, this shaped like this person. Oh, like okay. Like dinosaurs and they have well, so letters. So who would you want to see as the like icon of Gal Gadot's mac and cheese company? Uh, well, let me think. I mean, it's obviously Rami. <laughs> Who? Rami, Rami Carmel. Yes, Rami Carmel. Yes. Okay, and I'll tell you why. Okay, Rami there is a reason for cheese. that. Okay. Rami Carmel is so cute that you, you just want to eat him. Exactly. <laughs> and if you make a mac and cheese exactly. shape like Rami, everyone would, would right. like to eat because it. Because then exactly. people would say, yummy, 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 like yeah. Rami's in my tummy, right? Yeah, and amazing. we'll start singing, and that would be awesome. That's great, and we'd have him and Gal Gadot. In the in the commercial, they can do it in yes. Hebrew and in English. What? They can do Hebrew and English. I'm just, and then we'd have little kids eating tiny little Ramis, and then they'd be yeah, because leading. all of Israel know Kami, yeah, Rami. like Rami, yeah. yeah. And they'd all be singing, front, the little Ramis playing in their stomachs. This is amazing. Yeah. My goodness. Um, Thank you so much. You have enlightened this. You podcast. just made our day, Ophir, on a whole other level. Thank you very Congratulations, much. Congratulations um, on your Friday night movie shirt that you're getting, and everyone, a round of applause for Ophir for just going. <laughs> Keep with us. Thank you. On Gal Gadot. Um, so, Eitan, where are you from? Um, I'm from New York City. New York City? Awesome. Um, cool. All right. We were, just, we were just in New York City. Where, where in the city? Um, Upper East Side, Manhattan. Nice. Cool. Nice. Okay. Is this your first time summer camp? Um, no, it's my second year here. Oh, excellent. 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 Okay. And um, during, the, um, during the regular year when you are not in a place where you have willfully decided to not watch television for a while... What's your go-to comfort show? What's the thing like, oh, I had a hard day. I want to watch this thing. It's going to make me feel better. Um, I don't really have a comfort show, but my favorite show, if I were to have one, would be Glee. Oh, I love Glee so much. I'm such a Glee girly. That's awesome. <laughs> all right. Glee is Glee's fantastic. I love okay. all musical shows. Um, and um, what, do you have a comfort activity or food at camp? At camp? Um, I love the granola bars that they give us. Amazing. The Nature Valley granola bars? <laughs> yeah, I love those. Like last year, I, I used to the, like... I think they're still the granola bars from the 90s. <laughs> <laughs> That's, but yeah, last year I would take like five or ten, of, like not ten, uh, five, and just like hoard them. 
I take okay. them everywhere with me. I okay. took like four today. So. <laughs> I've been eaten, by the way. I've been allowed to eat. I have eat. four in my bag if hey, anybody hey, needs hey. one. We snuck into the kitchen and got you a fudge the call. By Don't the way, complain. talk about brave people here. They attempted grand theft. Grand Stu theft Stein. of four fudge fudgicals. Just saying, today. we we yeah, risked. We them. used to go here. Yeah. We we, know we risked a few our things. lives. We know a few um, so and we Aita, got them. Back to Ata. All right, we're talking. Um, you're talking your, your show that makes you happy is Glee. Glee, yeah. Your, your thing at camp that makes you happy are these granola bars. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> We're going to ask, can you, are you ready to do a pitch for us? Okay, sure. Okay. Let's hear it. So, Nature Valley has come to Glee. They've said, Glee, you're going to get another season. We're going to pay for it. We're going to bring back Leah Michelle. We're going to bring back um, the, the teacher. Uh, whose name I don't remember right now. With the uh, curly Morrison. hair. Morrison. Morrison. Will Morrison. Yeah, Morrison. Yeah, Morrison. Oh, I Even, him. Oh, Okay. But that's okay. Sorry. Um, oh, the kid who won the Emmy. So awesome. The kid that won. Oh. The yeah. Emmy? The one that Darren. Oh, anyways. The one that you know all the characters. Yeah. The one that was no. He. That's anyway. not Gucci. He's in the one with uh, okay. Versace. Versace. This is another Versace. thing we do is like not remember things properly. Yeah, we are that okay. old also. They're bringing back remember. all the characters you love. Okay. Mm-hmm. But Nature Valley granola bars have to be included as a plot point in the show. As a plot point. In the show. Yeah. They can't just be like a, oh, that guy's eating. It can't be like an advertisement. It, it has to be it, like a it big has to be dramatic thing. In the show, yeah. it has to be helping with the plot, but they will bring back an entire season of the show. Um, so I think the granola bars should be somehow centered around Sue Sylvester. Oh, think, yeah. Jane Lynch's Jane character? Lynch. Yeah. Oh, icon. I think, I think she could do, I think she could really pull off anything you give her. So I think... It would be some sort of way to take down the Glee Club, and she would somehow use Nature Valley to do that. I don't know how, but she could probably find a way. Probably. Yeah. Well, maybe the, the, the granular um, granola bars she would, affect like, their singing voices. scratch their vocal yeah. cords. <laughs> with like, the, also, them she would like, lace the food the, with like, Nature with Valley. crushed up Nature Valley. <laughs> <laughs> um, excellent. All right, Eitan, if you could bring back another show other than Glee, is there another show you'd bring back? Um, oh, yeah. What's it called? It was called... Not Survivor. Um, it was on Netflix. It was about these kids who were at this high school. They wanted a field trip. They came back from the field trip. All the families disappeared. Yeah, it, what's it called? Society, society. Oh my God. Yeah, 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 yeah. When I'm something not... comes off of Netflix, it doesn't come back. I, I know, it's, it's so annoying. It's so annoying. Because like, they, they ended season one with like a cliffhanger. And they oh, just didn't I mean, renew it. Never that, that, yeah. that should be a crime. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. That should not, well, we were we, kids. That kind of stuff didn't happen. And also, yeah, they have like they had seasons like, of everything. They had like the script and everything. They just didn't do it because of COVID. I'm I'm really it's, disappointed about that. But yeah. Unconscionable. Unconscionable. Aton, thank you so much for sharing sense. your opinions <laughs> and for being part of the show. Hey, 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 oh, hang on, Aton. Aton, do you want? You want? You get? You get something. Okay. Your name? What's your name? My name is Sam. Sam. I'm Lily. Lily, that's. Her name. She's Lily. Lily. Oh, That's crazy. No, I'm Lily. That is pretty crazy. crazy. Okay. Sam, Sam, where are you from? Atlanta. Atlanta. Oh, there's oh, a lot so of Atlanta many. here. Atlanta. I'm from Key West. Key West. Oh, wow. I'm also from, I also live on an island. Oh, wow. Yeah, so. <laughs> um, okay. So, have you been enjoying the show so far? Island. Yeah. Okay. Which of the siblings is your favorite so far? Probably Lily, because we have the same name. Oh, she no. didn't even hesitate. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. Some people get like hesitant. They're like, I don't know. We like all of you. Nope, Lily's like, I like that one. Done. <laughs> okay. Sam, you don't have to answer. Okay. Okay. But obviously it would be me, so that's fine. Yeah. So you don't have to answer. Yeah. <laughs> which, which topic um, so far have you enjoyed the most? Or do you want to throw a new one out there for us? I think we're going to throw a new one out there. Yes. All right. Premeditated. Go ahead. Yeah. Um, we really like Gilmore Girls. Oh, okay. This oh. is great. So my, let, okay, let's I reverse just, the ti- Let's reverse the tables here. Okay. You're gonna ask my sisters for their opinions on Gilmore Girls things, without them knowing it. what it is. I've seen I know, some like, of it. Okay. Like so you have to explain. Like, somewhat, so if you if you ask them a question the of like, did right? you guys what do you know think that about they're Jewish on the show? No, they're not. They're not no, Jewish. They're not. No, it's That's they have Friday night dinner. They have Friday night dinner. They are not Jewish. It's debatable. That is. I'll we'll no. get into that separately. Um, so just ask them. So like, if you're going to ask them, though, what do you think of Emily when she paid for college? You have to kind of give them a little bit of context. Who's Emily? Uh, Who? They'll give you context. Oh, the grandma. The grandma. Oh, oh, I like her. Yeah. So, and then they'll answer you, and then you 
tell us if you buy, rent, or med air answers. Does that work for you? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Lorelai's the mom. Lorelai's the mom. She is? Yeah. That's, she's played by, and her daughter's also oh, Lorelai, but they call her Rory. That's Lauren Graham. Lorelai Jr. Then the grandmother is Emily. Anyone here watch Gilmore Girls? Okay, all right. Wow. All right. I'm seeing My you. favorite is Luke. Dane, Dane, Luke, what's his name? Are you, yeah. are you guys Dane? too young to watch the guy who, It's on Netflix. Do you watch like, oh, you, you watch it on Netflix as if it's new? Yeah. Yeah. No, it's just like, it's, we watched like Night I, Court and I Happy guess, Days and things when we were little. Like it, we watched on, yeah, yeah, I guess. Wow, that's amazing. Okay, Wonderful. you have your first question? Our question is, do you think that Rory and Jess are good together? Which one, is Which that the blonde one? one? Yes. He's no, the like bad boy. Is that the no, one that's on This Is Us? Jess is the I'm one that yeah. moved to Milo. No, no, no. Uh, yeah, yeah, no yeah. one can pronounce. He's his Luke's name. um yeah, yeah, nephew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one. Yeah, I would is definitely. That, is, that the, is that the guy I from like This Is Us? Yeah, yeah. I feel like in the era, He's I don't know cute. if they were good together, but I feel like based on his hair, they should definitely have been together and stayed together. Yeah, yeah. just but based good on hair. His hair. Is, yeah. he she has great hair. hair, and he has fabulous hair, and yeah. I, you just—that's it's worth something. So. Is that the wrong answer? Oh, is that by, not? By, no. Oh, right answer. answer. I don't know much about the character. Is that the wrong yeah. answer? Did yeah. we get it wrong? It's we, we got it wrong. wrong. We he should wrong. be. She should be with the blonde guy. No, the blonde he, guy no, went to he supernatural. Was he was no. terrible. Okay. No, no, he was no, good. No, that's Dean. Dean. No, no, Dean, Dean, Dean is terrible. Logan is good. Yeah. Who? Lo Logan. The blonde the guy from college. Oh boy. And she said no. Oh no, she said no. So did we get the answer wrong? So Lily actually will. Lily loves star-crossed lovers. Yes. Right. You know the term star-crossed lovers. Yeah. Which one of these are the most star-crossed? Jess. Jess. That's right. That's why I lean that way. But and and you married a guy with great hair. I did. Really great hair. My husband has so, great hair. There you go. What he has a mane like Scott Bakula. They don't know. They don't know. Nothing to Scott Bakula. No, but <laughs> Brent and Brent anyone, anyone over Porter is laughing pretty hard. Um, Look up Scott Bakula. Who, who does she end up with? No one. She's a failure. <gasps> oh no, that's <laughs> not. That's not. No, it's She's true. She's an independent woman no. who doesn't can need we, a man. Can we spoil it a lot? What are the no, lessons no, of I, this I show exactly? Okay. We do spoil our show a lot. There okay. is something at the end that, like... All right. Oh. Sam and Lily... How awesome yeah. are Sam and Lily, everyone? Round of applause. Yes, they can go. Okay. These two can go. Well, which two? So these two? Okay, we're going to go these two, these two, and these two, and then and we are going to wrap the show. <laughs> no, we got to wrap. Sir, your name? I'm Samu. Samu? Yeah. Where are you from, Samu? I'm originally from Venezuela, but I live in Miami. Venezuela. Our mom was born in Venezuela. I have a fact about our mom for every, every single other. person. Our mom was born in Venezuela. Our mom was born in Venezuela. Everything. And where are you from? My name is Liam, and I'm from D.C. Liam from D.C. Oh, hey. They Arlington, live in Arlington, D.C. Arlington, Virginia. Cool. All right. We can talk. Well, maybe we'll, I don't know, hang out on the mall one day. I don't know. That's weird, right? That's 40 year super olds being weird. Like, Let's hang out. Super weird, Jack. Come hang out with us at a Comic-Con. Uh, <laughs> also weird and terrible, right? Ooh. Um, okay. Samu, Liam. Um, during the show so far? Love it. Okay, I do love it. <laughs> do you have a favorite sibling? Okay. okay. Do you have your, a, wait, do you have your own favorite siblings? Like, uh, do you have... Like my own sibling? Yeah. No, no, not, don't. <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> I want to hear what Samu I'm, says about which one of us he likes the most. So, I love Lily's opinions. Thank you. I love but, my opinions, too. But the way that the Becky's face to every single reaction <laughs> is so funny. Uh, that's, that's amazing. Great. Samu, That's I the think right you may have won Friday Night Movie. It's not a game you can win, but you may have won. All right, Liam, um, uh, so uh, here you are, you're at camp. You two, you're good friends? Yeah. Okay, so let's talk about buddies, famous dynamic oh, duos. Oh, wow. That's great. I'm, just, I'm thinking of, of our new favorite buddy, our new favorite bromance movie. Oh, which yeah. I don't, I, think I don't think anyone, no one has seen the foreign language film RRR yet, right? Highly recommend it. It's Maybe crazy. The best Super wild. Action, bromance, historical film about fighting colonialism you've ever heard of, and a musical. But let's talk about favorite dynamic duos, okay? <laughs> Lily's very the most organized. The order is Lily, Shy, Becky. I put in the least effort, but I bring the most to the table. <laughs> That's true. That's true. <laughs> okay, Batman and Robin. Okay. Okay. Who who has another famous duo? Lorelai and Rory. No, we they're not a duo. Them. They don't count. Yeah. Hitchcock and Sully in Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Hitchcock and Sully, Sully. That's in Brooklyn Nine-Nine. You know them? The, Batman okay. and Robin. Robin. Hitchcock, Hitchcock and Sully. Sully. Let's get one more. Hot and Solo and Luke. Or Hot and Solo and Chewbacca. Or Hot and Solo and Chewbacca. Hot and Solo and Chewbacca. 
All right. Yeah. Yeah. I'll tell you about, let's give one more, actually. Winston and Cece. I don't know who they I are. Don't, I don't know. Oh, Cece. Um, Which one's Cece? Is, is uh, Zoe Deschanel's best friend. Oh, okay, got it. Okay, right? so. That, they're yeah. doing? Buy, rent, meh, and then we're going to add a third category that was said earlier. Who said eh earlier eh. today? Who said eh? The eh? I think he might have left. Maybe she, she, she left. She left. Alyssa said that. Okay. So, eh. Okay, so you have four, okay? Okay. Hit it. Are oh, they whispering? All right. A lot of, a lot of processing going on here. They're consulting. In the meantime, let's find out where other people are from. Where are you from? Miami. Miami. Awesome. Miami. Where are you from? I love this. Puerto Rico. Our, Our mom, mom lived in Puerto Rico. <laughs> Our mom was the first Puerto Rican camper to ever come to TY, and she started the whole like Puerto, Puerto Rico, Rico club. Wait, what? She's like, I don't Young today, a connection. Okay, wait. So we figured out our option. My, my voice is like a little dead from color war yesterday. Yeah, say. So, say, say. Okay, we would buy Han Solo and Chewbacca because nice. they go way back. They were like captain, first mate, kind of like. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, doing their business together, and um, for rent we said Batman and Robin. Um, they're good, but not as good as Chewbacca and Hans. Yeah. Also, Robin's kind of like a sidekick. I don't really yeah. think. Okay. Mm -hmm. Less of a equal. Like he can't take over the way Chewbacca can fly the yeah, plane. You're not yeah. letting Robin yeah, drive exactly, the car. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then um, Meh was Hitchcock and Sully. Because they're good, but they just don't compare. Like, it's not on the same scale. They have not yeah. solved more than, like, two crimes. Yeah, yeah. So, okay. Exactly, exactly. Right. Yeah, they're kind of like the... And then the last one is the one that we don't Winston know. and Cece. Yeah, yeah we I, don't. I, I have no clue what that is. completely agree I'm with so these sorry. selections. All right, Samo and Liam, round of applause. Did a great job. We had our last duo. Oh, no, we have one duo and then one wait, duo. Wait, wait, we got to get these uh, oh, yeah, guys some... Have, what are we getting? Shirts. 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 Okay. Is, it cause, so is that because everyone's out of clean clothes now? It's like laundry day. Yeah, we all want shirts. <laughs> all right. Oh, that's well, uh, oh, okay. uh, I know Miami and Chicago. Chicago. But you have names that are not cities? I'm Orly. I'm Mia. Orly. That's my wife's best friend's name. Mia. Great you to meet you. You guys are learning Mia a lot about Miami. Miami. Amazing. So many details about your life. Mia from Miami. Oh. Orly from Chicago. Our mom Chicago. lived in Miami. Chicago. She did live in Miami. Our mom lived in Miami. Our mom did live in Miami. And okay. she's visited Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Okay. Amazing. Miami and Chicago. All right. Those are very different cities. Cold and hot. Okay. If you could move Camp Tel Yehuda to one of those cities in the summer, so not Chicago's winter, I where would you move it? I would say Chicago, because obviously Miami is like a better city like year round, but in the summer Miami is like very, very hot, and Chicago is actually like really, really nice in the summer, so. What would be like an activity you would do in camp in Chicago that would be unique to Chicago? But you don't like go outside of camp when you're like at camp. No, but, no, but like, let's say it was in like downtown you Chicago. Would, like eat di deep dish pizza at camp because it's a Chicago thing. Or... And like you could go swimming like at the lake. And, oh, okay, like, all right. So go. all right. So watch out, tell you Huda, we have a proposed new site from Orly. Okay, let's talk movies and TV and things like that. You watch, you know, you're ready to talk about those things, right? Because <laughs> that's what we talk about on our show. Okay. Do you use streaming services? Sometimes. Okay, what, what, do you, what, what, do you, what do you watch? We want to talk about the summer I turned pretty. <laughs> oh, can, can someone explain that to me? Because I see that a lot. Can, I've never heard of it. It's a okay, book, so, right? This is great. So basically, it's like this girl and they're like really close family friends that they grew up with each other. And then there's these two brothers and then the same girl. And then the two brothers end up falling for her. Oh, boy. And she has to, like, choose between each one. And was she not pretty and now she is pretty? Or they just realize she's pretty because they... I don't know. But this title seems not great. Did they put... They, did she have glasses and they... No, she did actually she did have glasses. Did they say she's all that She her? did have glasses just, like, and then she got, like, a glow... Work? She had, like, her, like, glow-up, kind he's of. He's all that. Did they he's all so that So she had, no? like, a crush yeah. on one of them yeah. for, like, her entire life. But he's kind of, like, quiet and he's, like... Oh, so like, it's, like, Sabrina. It's Sabrina. It's Sabrina. Sorry. And I he's, just like, to he's like, hold on, my, my sisters are mentioning <laughs> movies from like the 40s while you're talking about a new TV show. So, and he's like, he's minute. like, like the bad one, I guess. Like, ah, uh, yeah, it is. There we go. That yeah. boy. And then there's like a new thing that happens like that summer with the other one who's like nicer and like he likes her, but she has this like thing for like the one who she's had a crush on for her entire okay. life. 
So I'm going to highly recommend <laughs> this other movie called Sabrina. They made it in the 90s, and then there's the original uh, in the, like, original. 50s. But you like Which might as well concept. be the 90s. Yeah, it's yeah. the, it's the, to them, I guess, yeah, but... Um, okay, all right, so... Okay, you, I guess we have to so, watch that. So now, now you, you've now convinced we have to us that. that we've got to watch it. Which brother are you rooting for? Jeremiah. Is what? he the bad boy or the good one? He's the good one. He's the good one. What's your reason? See, can't tell you who this is a special place. <laughs> That's okay. great. Jeremiah. Okay, because listen. Oh, no, 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 oh, listen. Oh, we have a listen. controversy. All right. All right. Jeremiah. Oh something about the people in Okay, Conrad is a very, like, complicated person, and I don't think he could, like, treat her right. And Jeremiah, like, wow. wants... We're getting, well, we're, wow, we're seeing all different kinds of reactions. Jeremiah, like, wants her to and wants show? to, like, I be there for to her. Watch this tonight and come back and talk it's, to you Okay, about it's, seven, about it's seven episodes. I finished oh it in, like, a day. She like, I watched the entire thing What about Surviving Summer? Because she watched the whole thing. Anybody, Anybody see that? Surviving Summer is about so surfers in Australia. Australia? Highly recommend that. It's definitely not made for our age group. So we've got Jeremiah and then other people who might disagree into Conrad. All right, and then we have, uh, so I want to say thank you to Mia and to Orly. Round of applause. And our last two contestants, oh, or contestants, so, guests. So we have two more. We're going to close out with you both. And actually, we're going to close out with you both. Have a seat. We're going to, you're going to do the traditional ending of our show with us, okay? Exciting. The traden- cool. traditional ending of our show is very OG? similar to what Mia and Orly just did, and that is called the shout-outs and recs. And this is where you give any shout-outs and recommendations of what our listeners should either watch or listen to, or someone, you just because they're going to be listening to this, someone you want to just shout-out to. All right, and what's your name? Uh, Mira. Mira from? Chicago. Mira from Chicago. Uh, my name is Hillary. I'm from Atlanta. Hillary from Atlanta. Atlanta. All right, so Mira in Chica- from Chicago and Hillary from Atlanta, you, you have our audience to yourself right now. What should they watch, or is there someone you want to shout out to? Um, and get closer to the microphone, please. Well, I have a very common theme in all of the shows that I like. I like Parks and Rec, Community, Brooklyn Nine-Nine, The Good Place. Place. I think half of those are produced by the same person as well. Oh, those are all Michael Schur shows? Yeah. All right, okay, we have a big Michael Schur fan. That's great, okay. So any Michael Schur show you recommend to people? Basically. Yeah, we agree. Um, everyone watch New Girl right now. It's so good. I've seen it five times. There's like seven seasons. It's my favorite show. Who is your favorite New Girl? Well, character, not New Girl, because some are not. Um, personally, I really um, like Ali. She's like a... Uh, Winston's um, partner in crime, so she's my favorite. Okay. And of all of the Michael Schur shows, which is your favorite? Ooh. I think um, Parks and Rec. I wouldn't say it's my favorite, but I think it's the most dynamic of the shows, and it has a lot of different aspects and different plot points that are all, I think, by the end of the show, completely like tied together, and it's very cohesive. A- and I will say, as a former public servant myself, I think it says a lot of really good things about public service. Um, great show. Did you, look, you had something else to say. Um, I want to shout my brother Arye out because he's a massive movie fan. Massive, massive, massive. And I know that if he were here, he would really, really want to do this because he knows actors from shows probably back in the 60s that probably my dad, who's just turned 50, wouldn't even know about. Oh, well, that's well, awesome. He should, well, listen we've, to our he show. should listen to he's the show. We've got to meet him. He's a connoisseur. We've got to meet him, okay? Yes. So tell him we were on the show. Well, the episode will be up probably next week, so... Um, and, and do you have any shout outs? Um, I'll shout out my dad because he listens to like podcasts, I guess. <laughs> like an old person. An old person. Yeah. No. yeah. We get it. All we right. A huge thank you to um, our guests, to our audience, to Camp, yeah. to David, to, thank you. to David. everybody who helped us put this together. So um, uh, and you can follow Friday Night Movie at Friday Night Movie on Instagram. Some people mentioned they like Instagram. There is no TikTok. There That's is no too much for us. Never will be. Friday Night Movie Pod. Uh, and uh, thank you so we much for being a part of the Friday Night Movie family. Thank you for stickers. having us. If anyone you wants some stickers. stickers.